Uh, we'll see from this question that the mathematics behind it is quite simple. But it's your definitions again. Like most things in economics one, you need to know your definitions and where they fit into a bigger picture. So in this question, they tell us that a firm's total cost function is given by TC equals 2000 plus 50Q plus 7Q squared. And then they give us four questions regarding the cost function. So the first question, what is our total fixed cost? And we simply denote total fixed cost as TFC. So the fixed cost part tells you that it does not change with the quantity. So if we change quantity, our total fixed cost will remain the same. So if we look at our total cost function, the only part of this function that remains the same as we change quantity is this 2000. It is a constant. The rest will change as we change Q, which is a variable. So we can simply say that our total fixed cost is 2000. No matter how much we produce, whether it is zero quantity or whether it is 100, our total fixed cost will remain at 2000. So that was question one. Question two is simply what is our total variable cost denoted by TVC. And like I just said, the variable cost part is that part of our total cost function, which changes as we change our quantity. So we can see each of these terms where we have a variable is a variable cost. So it'd be 50Q and 7Q squared. So we can put it in our total variable cost is 50Q plus 7Q squared. So what we need to see from this part here is that these two give us our total cost. So total cost is a function of our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost. So this is the first thing we need to see which is important from this question. And we can see that our total fixed cost and our total variable cost gives us our total cost. So question three, which is what is the average variable cost denoted by A, V, C. So to get an average, we simply need to divide by the quantity Q. So we know what our total variable cost is. It is 50Q plus 7Q squared. And to get the average, we simply divide by Q. And we can see, we can simplify this. Excuse me, this should be a 50. We can take Q out from the top. And we have 50 plus 7Q divided by Q. And we can see that our Qs will cancel out. And we are left with 50 plus 7Q, which is now our average variable cost. So the average variable cost is our total variable cost, simply divided by Q to find an average. And question four works similarly. What is the average total cost? So we know our total cost is the function given to us of 2000 plus 50Q plus 7Q squared. And to get an average, we simply need to divide this by Q. So our average total cost, ATC, equals total cost divided by Q. And in this case, it's simply going to be 2000 plus 50Q plus 7Q squared. And this divided by Q gives us average total cost. So again, this is a nice question which you can expect to find in the test or exam. And like I said at the start, the mathematics behind it is quite simple but you need to understand the principles behind it and where it fits in in the bigger picture. Total cost function is a function of our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost. And to find an average cost of anything, we simply need to divide it by the quantity to get the average cost per unit.